Do know what that is? Now I'm in Ainsford, Ainsford village, not far from Seven Oaks in Kent. Beautiful little village. Road goes straight through the A232, I think it is, so it's constant traffic like a lot of these places are. Let's show you some of the uh, architecture, some of the historic buildings. Let's go. Very, very loud with the traffic coming through, but uh, we will have a look at the church as well. Uh, the cottage, fountain cottages, amazing, lovely. We're down here. Lovely old door. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the ford. Very clear water actually for a river. <laughs> and the park is above the bridge. Old bridge. Lots of families enjoying themselves by the water at the Ford. And there's the uh, 16th century plough in. Yeah, just want to nice little beauty spot. Imagine the horse and carts back in the day coming through. So uh, let's go and have a look at the church. Yeah, you've got Lonington Roman Villa, a very, very famous Roman villa. Only a couple of miles down that way, it's obviously closed at the moment. Should be reopening in August. So yeah, a little walk around the, uh, the church. This is the Church of St. Martin's. It's about 900 years old. Obviously lots of bits added on, you can see. Let's go a little bit up on a little bit of a ridge. What I should start doing is, um, oh, door alert, sorry, got to see a door. I wonder how old that is. Old rivets in it. Mm. What I was going to say is I should start dowsing these areas, especially around churches and ancient sites, and just see if there is an earth energy current coming through. Uh, being a dowser, number of years I'm very much interested in earth energy currents I don't think there's anything mystical about it it might be a little bit unknown um, it's interesting we always seem to pick them up around ancient sites were our ancient ancient man in tune with the landscape and the aura of the atmosphere more than we were probably Church continues to be alive and active, but our buildings must close. Oh. Interesting, some churches are open for private prayer and others aren't. The moat shovel it is reopened. Never seen one of these before. Do you know what that is? Comment below. Hardy and Padmore, I think it is. Hardy and Padmore. It's won a lot of uh, large village best kept awards. In West Kent. Well deserved too. Heritage back. Peter Warlock, E.J. Morrigan. Morian. Composers lived here 1925 to 1928. I've never heard of them, but they've got heritage back, so they must be well known. Like with cottages. We just walked into the Baptist church, got a bit of peace away from the uh, cars. 
I say, this is just a quick brief uh, walk around Eynsford, very brief. As I was here at Eynsford Castle, I thought, let's come see this beautiful village at the same time. If you've liked the video, please like, subscribe. I've probably missed out loads of facts. I hope I've pronounced it correctly. I'm, I'm bad at that sometimes. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Take care.